Hello Raspberry Pi users! I just wanted to let you know that the Raspberry Pi is capable of functioning with touchscreens. Yeah, you got that right. It's uh, I hooked it up with a touchscreen here, which uses the HID, um, the HID technology that is mostly used in uh, game controllers and all, all that stuff. And it's pretty much plug and play. You plug in the USB of the uh, touchscreen, and it works out of, right out of the box. No modifications or anything. This is just Debian that I got from the from Raspberry Pi org. As you can see, it all works perfectly. I can select things. It's a bit laggy, but that comes from the Raspberry Pi itself. And yeah, I'm absolutely happy, because that offers so many new usages, uh, new ways of usage that I wanted to do, so it's pretty great. Only downside is that right now the resolution is not recognized correctly. As you can see, the recognized re resolution of the Raspberry Pi is 1824 to 980. Uh, whoa, sorry, 1824 to 984 pixels, which is uh, sadly wrong. This is a full HD display, and this leads to the missing edges here. Yeah, as you can see there are some missing edges here which leads to um, wrong calculation of the cursor position but I think this is this should be an easy fix so I don't care anyway um, for you to know this is an AOC E twenty two thirty nine capital F W T screen with included speakers and HDMI output with USB output that sends the touchscreen information to the connected PC or in this case Raspberry Pi yeah only downside is that uh, when I bought this touchscreen there were they were pretty limited so I don't know if they are getting produced or if there's if it was just a shortage or shortage of or something I don't know um, but I guess that every touchscreen that uses the HID uh, interface as a input possibility, it should work without any problems with your Raspberry Pi. So I was pretty excited and uh, surprised that this was working right out of the box and with no configurations or anything, just plug and play because I assumed that the drivers um, that I needed to install extra drivers that would handle the input of the touchscreen but no just no needed so, so thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it let me know if you have any questions I hope I can answer them or yeah stay tuned and goodbye